Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word is sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is uh, another quick hit, straight to the point. And this is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord, Yahweh, is my power. All right. The uh, title of this video also will be only the elect will be saved. Only the elect will be saved. OK. Now, here's an image. Which if you have it, no, you know, now you see this is a pie chart which explains what we just read here in Zechariah 13, 8, 9. Now it says the Israelites pie chart of salvation and destruction. All right, now this was a, a banner, all right, here at Great Millstone, was done years ago, and it's uh, to help you also to understand the scripture, all right, you see the 12 tribes on the left, and you see the uh, breakdown of the tribes on the right, now here's the pie chart, you see the two-thirds in red, you see the one-third in yellow, and you see the 144,000 in white, all right, now that 144,000 is going into Revelation 7, all right, dealing with the dealing with the 144,000, and it said what 12,000 of each tribe, and those 12,000 of the tribes are men, okay, those are the seeds, okay, that the Most High kept to Himself. Um, excuse me, let me slack you. Let me see something real quick. All right, I just want to get a quick precept in Second Edges. This is 2nd Edges 9, and uh, give me a moment. There we go. All right, this is 2nd Edges chapter 9, and, um, and, uh, Now, 14. All right, this is 2nd Edges chapter 9, verse 14. It says, Then answered I and said, I have said before and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. So the Lord is telling Edges that in this, in this second coming of the Lord, all right, there's what? It says that there's be many more of them that perish than of them which shall be saved. All right, so not all Israel is getting delivered in this day. All right, even though the Israelites are the chosen of the Lord, but the Lord is looking within the chosen for the chosen, and that's the first fruits who He have established from the beginnings of the earth. All right, to be those powers with Yahweh Shai. All right, now verse 16 like as a wave is greater than a drop. And he answered me saying, like as the field is, so is also the seed. As the flowers be, such are the colors also, such as the workman is, such also is the work. And as the husbandman is, is, is himself, excuse me, so is his husbandry also, for it was the time of the world. And now when I prepared the world, which was not yet made even for them to dwell in that now that now live, no man speck against me. For then every one obeyed. But now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made of a corrupt, that are made corrupt by a perpetual seed, and by a law which is unsearchable, rid themselves. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that will come into it. And I saw and spared it greatly. And have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Okay. 
of a, the plant of a great people. Who is that great people? Israel. All right. And that cluster, all right, represents the elect. It says, uh, it says, let the multitude perish then, which were born in vain, and let my great be kept. And my, it says, and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. Okay. Nevertheless, if thou will cease yet seven days more, but thou shalt not fast in them. All right. So just wanted to bring that up because the elect is of the Lord, man. All right. It's that what? That grape of cluster, that plant of a great people. It says, let the multitude perish. Okay. The multitude of who? You Israelites. Meaning the two thirds, which were born in vain. You were born in vain. All right. The day that you were born, okay, was basically in vain. All right. You never was going to worship the Lord, keep the ordinance of the Lord. All right. You was just, you know, here to, to be wicked, man. All right. Right alongside with the wicked, which is Esau. It says, and let my great be kept and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. All right. So with that being said, let me get back my scripture here. Isaiah 31 and 1. Now. You know, let's go back to Zechariah 13 and verse 8, and let's break it down. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, say of the Lord, two parts. Two parts is the two thirds. It's the two thirds. All right. It says, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and the third shall be left therein. That one third. And the 144,000, which really all of it is the one third. All right. But that government body is starting with the men in uh, Revelations 21 and 3. I believe it's 3, verse 3. It says what? The tabernacle of the Lord is with men. So it starts with the men. Okay, the men are the seed. You know, for an example, if you lose, a, you lose your garden, your farm, right? And your plants and you have seeds left and only seeds you have left is apples. And your orange seeds dies, your cherry seeds die, you know, and all the rest of your seeds. You know, if you got a few seven seeds left with your apple, you can plant that and it will grow what? Apples. All right. So, you know, the seeds are the men. Okay. The men also carry seed, bring forth life. You know, it's another thing for you women, you know, that are uh, knowing that you're an Israelite and ordering yourself under the ways of the Lord. All right, in truth and sincerity, know that, you know, to humble you, to not be prideful is to always remember that the Israelite man doesn't need the Israelite woman, but the Israelite woman needs the Israelite man because the Israelite man can have any woman and bring back Israel. The Israelite woman can't bring back Israel. So that's why the men of the Lord are very important. All right. And it starts with them. OK, so it says verse um. Verse nine, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. Now, that third part is the elect. OK, and um, for the most part, when you first come into this truth, all right, you you get tried through the fire. You know, when you endure throughout the seasons and the years, you're being tried. The scriptures say, think it not strange when strange things happen unto you, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So things are going to happen. You know, um, scriptures say that when my father and my mother forsook me, then the Lord took me up. And I'm roughly paraphrasing that as well. All right. But when you come into this truth, you get put through the fire. All right. The Lord chastised you. You know, he, he puts you through that hell. You know, he break you down, but he builds you up. OK. And ultimately, well, let me not say ultimately, excuse me, but also too in this scripture, it's a twofold scripture. Because literally, when the Lord shoot off those missiles, all right, the thermonuclear missiles that's going to destroy Babylon the Great, the elect is going to be simultaneously, all right, delivered. Flung, you know, or not say flung off, you know, picked up right through the fire, man. Before the fire, but right, you know, through the fire. All right, so I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And will try them as gold is tried. So the elect is being tried as gold. OK, they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people because right now all of Israel is not the Lord's people. You even got Israelites 
who know that they're Israelites, but that don't mean that the Lord is claiming them as his people. Because why? Their ways are wicked. Their ways are filthy. All right. They're, they're, they're full of blood. They're full of their sins and iniquity. You know, you got men, women who know of this truth, who claim, you know, that they in the truth. But meanwhile, they never put off the old man. All right. They got one foot in the world and, and one foot, you know, in this in this truth, you know, all on social media and things like that. But when you check them out, you know, they don't hold down the customs. All right. Which is our customs as being a Hebrew Israelite. They only do it when it's only neat, when it's only pleasure for them. You know, this truth is scary, man. Scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved. And I just explained, you know, why one reason why it's going to be scarcely be saved, because when those chariots come to pick up the elect, that's scarcely being saved, man. Simultaneously before the nuclear missiles hit. All right. It says they shall call on my name. Call on who name? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Not every Israelite calling on the right name of the Lord. They don't believe that that that's that it, that the name of the Lord is that important. When the name of the Lord is the the ultimate importance, importance of being in His truth, calling on who you believe in. All right, knowing who you believe in. All right, with truth and sincerity. It says they shall call on my name and I will hear them. Importantly, meaning, let me excuse me. The Lord is going to know who is his people because they're calling upon his name. If you're calling upon Jesus Christ, all right, Jah, Yah, you know, short for Yahweh, you know, the Lord, you know, ain't going to, ain't going to, ain't going to hear you, man. Matter of fact, in Peter's, it says the Lord hears the prayers of the righteous. Okay. So he don't hear the prayers of the wicked, man. So it says, they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people right now israel right now with this black lives matter shit this bullshit all right that been you know i guess they was you know i guess the leaders was duped you know blind thinking that you were going to get funded by these elites you know george soros and other handlers and millionaires and thinking that it was going to support your cause to rise, to be considered, you know, amongst Esau. Well, guess what? They infiltrated. All right. From the get go, that Black Lives Matter shit was made to keep Jake sleep. All right. First off, we're not black. We're brown. And technically, our nationality are Israelites. This was what took him from us when we were brought here on cargo slave ships, man. And wherever the Israelites got dropped off at, they took on the names of that land, whatever that devil called them. Now, today, we're getting it back. We're coming back into our inheritance, man. So, two-thirds of the Lord's people that's stuck in that mindset of thinking you're going to stand side by side and have a kingdom beside Esau's kingdom, all right? You're sadly mistaken. You're going to be destroyed. Because this place got to go out for hours to come in. And that's going to be done by the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Not by the hands of a gun. You know, or a revolution, what you want to call it. Picking up arms. No. The Lord, uh, Paul, Paul said, Apostle Paul, he said, we're going to destroy um, 2 Thessalonians. Destroy them with the spirit of his mouth, which are the prophets doing right now. All right. And then he said, the brightness of his coming, meaning Yahweh Shai cracking those clouds physically. And taking the crowns from these heathens, taking these kingdoms, taking these lands, man. All right. Bringing them into captivity. So it says they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord Yahweh is my power because the elect truly. All right. Going to call upon the name of the Lord and believe that he is our power because he is. All right. You see what's going on in the world. So, you know, the cry is not being a, and Black Lives Matter, that's bullshit. The cry is being of Israel, being Yasha Allah, man. All right, Kwam Yasha Allah means rise Israel. Rise, you princes, man, you princes of the power. So, you know, from here, like I said, I'm going to try to keep it short. I'm going to strive for that.
Lord willing, this is less of edifying. Um, matter of fact, let me see here. I get this scripture real quick. This is Isaiah 31 and 1. All right, remember, this topic is about the elect. Only the elect is getting delivered, not all Israel. You know, Yahweh Shai also said, you know, um, what'd he say? Um, he's he gonna say, I never knew you. All right, when a hey, certain guys who thought that they were, you know, doing up good works, you know, Yahweh Shai gonna tell them, I never knew you, ye that work iniquity. All right, you got a lot of uh false prophets out here, you got a lot of guys that ain't just just ain't right. You got niggas that claim to be in this truth and they still smoking weed. You know, y'all niggas is two thirds is fucking crazy. All right. So this is Isaiah chapter 31 and one. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Now, Egypt represents bondage. We was in bondage in ancient Egypt. OK, we was delivered. And guess what? Today we're back in Egypt. And this Egypt, we came in with ships. Deuteronomy 28, 68. At the end of that verse, it says that no man shall buy you, meaning no man could save you. That's making me think of Lamentations 4. Um, our eyes yet fell for our vain help, uh, thinking another nation could save thee. Roughly paraphrasing it, and I could get it. But that's what entirely what the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing it. All right. No man is going to save you. Black Lives Matter <laughs> ain't saving you, niggas. It's really done led you down the path of really for that slaughter. All right. So it says, woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. Black Lives Matter is going to Egypt. All right. First off, you don't even you're calling yourself black, void, darkness, evil. We're not black. OK. It says, woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen because they because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh. You trust in America, you trust in this so-called white man because he has power. All right, he has many chariots. You know, I've seen videos where they made the military, certain young boys in the military, bow down on one knee. You know, and you trust in them. She wanted this woman, wanted them to march with them to feel strong. Why is it always the black woman leading y'all march anyway? You know, a woman is confusion, man. They're supposed to be men as leaders. The men with the voice up there speaking. Either way, it is all garbage, man. Because why? It says, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Elder Apostle Sahar did a, a, a good cover. He always do great videos. I was watching his video and it was pumping me up, man. You know, like that video, I don't know what camp that was. But they were arguing with the woman. The black woman and she was like we don't want to hear y'all uh preaching like <laughs> that's that's scripture this is prophecy man that's scripture man they want to be lied to man israel israel is hard head stiff neck and rebellious and they want to be lied to and for them to be telling them them brothers that was camping and i guess they was in the hood or something or something like i don't know but you know according to the video the way uh elder the elder apostle was breaking it down you know, that's prophecy, man. Clearly, right in these days, right now, man, when it's rioting, looting in these cities. All right. Right now, Esau Edom is on trial, man. He on trial. All right. You got all these. You got mainstream. You got social media, all these different platforms. You know, basically hearing this mourn from from the cry of of the two thirds claiming to be black. You know, this is all showing. This is really you look through the spirit. You see the the uh, that Esau Edom is on trial. Whether whether these elites they they stage this, all right, you know, so that they could bite the bait and hook them in. Now they could bring a military and declare martial law. They could suspend the constitution, you know. Then they could bring in their Noah High laws and judge everybody. Have this one world law, one world government. You know, we know that they 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 they're really gunning for the one world currency. And that currency is that digital microchip, all right, which the Bible calls the mark of the beast. So we're in prophecy, man. All right, so it says, yet he, um, yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. 
Um, okay, so that's all I want for that. Now let me get this other scripture because the time when Jacob's trouble gets more height and more real, okay, when there's sedition, when, when there's a lack of food and water, all right, when these military troops start coming to your house, when people getting gunned down, when you sitting in your living room and all you hearing is gunshots outside, like it's, it's, war, it's a war zone, all right, that time of Jacob's trouble is coming. This is just the beginning, bro. This is just the beginning, man. That's why you have to understand, you know, if you're a newly fruit, new brother coming in, understand that the Lord is only dealing for only dealing with the elect. He's only going to save the elect. So really, why worry about two thirds? Worry about yourself and see if the Lord is going to save you. Hope that the Lord will save you, you know. So anyway, this is Judges 10 and 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and serve other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. And that's two thirds. This Black Lives Matter shit. You know, y'all all def defendants of this government, uh, government uh, churches, Christianity. All right. Y'all back these Edomites up when they come against the prophets of the Lord that's giving you the truth. You know, according to Jeremiah 3 and what is it? Jeremiah 315. I will give you passes according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You just you despise that. What's that? Proverbs, the first chapter, starting at the 20th verse. All right. Wisdom crieth out. All right. She uttered her voice in the streets. You know, when the Lord extends his hand, you you throws it back, man. You slaps it down. So it says, For for ye have forsaken me. You for sucking the Lord. And serve other gods. Wherefore I will deliver you no more. So the Lord is not coming back this second time to deliver all Israel. Verse 14. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. And trust and believe this. Esau could orchestrate all these protests and riots. And do his thing. But when the Lord take over. Well, the Lord is doing this already, but what I'm saying is when the Lord makes things difficult for Esau and he has to stand upon his feet, looking on every side, all right, that's when it's trouble. Great tribulation is coming to you two-thirds, man. So the Lord said, go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. You've chosen uh, this world over the Lord's world that's coming. You've chosen the gods of this world, which is Satan. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So our Lord ain't no joke, man. All right. The most high. We're in the image of our father. You know. We're just like him. He's just like us. So the way he talks. Okay. The way that this Bible and word. You know, you know, these are Israelites. All right. Certain terms. You know. So go and cry unto the gods which he have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Now, let me see if I have something else. Oh, I do. And um, I do. I got something right here. Okay, this is Revelation 11. Damn, I'm 23 minutes in. All right. Anyway, uh, this is Revelation chapter 11, verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which you seek it for. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, it says, The Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, until this day. So there you go. And, I, you know, it says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which you seek it for. What is that, you know, you so-called blacks and Latinos seek for? You seek for the truth. You seek for the higher power. You seek for help. You seek you seek to be saved for those that are spiritual, those that believe in an entity, you know, a, a higher power. You know, as Paul said, you have a zeal, but not according to the knowledge. And in this scripture, it says Israel have not obtained that which they seek it for. But, uh oh, but the election have obtained it. So that's the elect within the elect that obtained the truth. It says, and the rest were blinded, okay, meaning the rest of Israel, Yasha Allah, okay, two-thirds are blinded and it's done on purpose by Yahweh Bashmi Shai. 
all right, because of their own wickedness and their iniquity, all right? According as it is written, Yahweh hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. Okay, so this very day, sound like Dante Wilder. To this day, you know, until this day, all right, they're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. The scriptures tell us that in uh, is it Second Edges 9, it says, um, they shall know it after death by pain. So the only way two-thirds is going to receive this truth is after they get destroyed. Okay? After they get destroyed, they go into the spirit realm, and the Lord have them coming back out as newborn babes in the kingdom. All right? And they're going to be perfect. Y'all going to be good. You know? So the best thing is to be an Israelite. <laughs> but guess what? The ones that's going to be delivered from this this great destruction of the Lord's wrath is only the elect. So this is verse 9. And David say, now this is King David. All right. King David was what? Well beloved of the Lord. It said he was what? The apple of the Lord's eye. Okay. Now this is what King David said. Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may see, that they may not see. And bow down their back always. So King David is praying to the Lord that you two thirds never get it. <laughs> you know, he said, let their table be made a snare and a trap, you know, from the day that you're born. Okay. You know, that you wasn't right in your past life because yes, scriptures teach reincarnation. So if you wasn't right in your past, you know, then guess what? Even in this day, you're not going to get it. All right. It says, and a stumbling block. What's a stumbling block? This truth. Many of many, the mo the multitude of the Israelites here, okay, around the world is offended. Is is excuse me. Is um. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, as the Lord said, ashamed. That's the word. Multitude. The two thirds of Israel today are ashamed of the Lord. In this wicked and sinful generation, man. All right. It says, let their table be made a snare, a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense, meaning a payback unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way. All right. Because a lot of you, you know, go into that third and fourth generation. I hate the Lord. Even back in the time in the wilderness, you know, when the Lord was whooping y'all asses. You know, for y'all wickedness. You know, so I hope this lesson was edifying. It's longer than what I expected, but more importantly, I hope you were edified. I wanted to make a video, be in the spirit with the Lord. All right. And um, you know, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Shalom.